Hey everybody, welcome back to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com and here on my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to do another plugin demo. This time out we're going to take a look at another plugin by Tone Empire. This is called the Model 5000. This is a killer plugin. We take a look at one of Tone Empire's uh, saturation plugins a few, probably a month ago or so, the Loch Ness 2, which is awesome. This is another one of their plugins that I really, really like. This is so, um, somewhat unique in its design. I want to walk you through it. We're going to listen to it on some drums where it sounds great. We're going to listen to it on a mix bus as well. It may be even some bass. And then you can go out to the website and check it out for yourself. But before we get started, if you like what you see in this video, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. Also go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I want to give you a free mixing course worth 50 bucks, absolutely free. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you something else, uh, a special discount. So stick around. So here we are in Studio One. Here's the Tone Empire Model 5000. Now, this is um, a hybrid uh, type of uh, a compressor. This is a VCA compressor SSL style kind of cross mingled with like kind of an API A um, couple of the API 20 uh, API 2500 compressor features. We'll take a look at their website in a second here Actually, we'll look at that now So if you go out to their website and you check it out the model 5000 the heavyweight VCA compressor And it is and you'll hear that in a minute It's a punchy hybrid compressor with a controllable low-end thrusting inspired by the famous American compressor which is the API 2500. That's what makes that compressor unique is the thrust feature um, and the classic British console compressor, quote unquote SSL. It's great on drums, great on a mix bus. And for mastering, you can go from subtle or thrust your sound. It sounds really cool. 99 bucks this uh, thing is, you can check it out. You could even demo it uh, as well. I would encourage you to check this out. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape or form. Um, I don't uh, get paid for this video and um, that's it. Oh, oh, they did give me a couple of plugin licenses to give away as part of uh, my mixing contest over at mixingmadeeasy.net. So they did give me this plugin for free for me to bring it to you and a couple of plugin licenses, but no other payment was made. And if you buy their plugin I don't get any commission for it just so you know okay so if we come down here read a little bit more apart about it talks about the model 5000 and how it was kind of designed you can check all of that out on your own it's got some cool features here talking about the knock feature which is really um, really what makes this thing sound awesome um, and the transformer uh, the trans X which is really cool as well so you can watch their promo video go out the tone Empire and check it out it is pretty cool Cool. Okay, so here we are on a drum bus. There's no processing on these drums whatsoever except for the Model 5000. Right now it's at its default setting. Let's walk through the plugin. We have at the top left hand corner some presets if you want to pick some presets and check that out. Their presets always sound pretty good. They have the Trans X, which is the transformer. Um, and the Trans X is a um, Saturation. So you turn that on and off here. You could do a wet dry mix type of a thing. I like to keep it on 100% wet and then you can uh, boost up the input. The harder you hit the transformer, obviously the more saturation and color you're going to get. If we move around along to the right here along the bottom, here is our SSL style compressor. Uh, here we have threshold ratio attack and release, pretty straightforward and a makeup gain here as well. At the top here we have our beautiful metering up here. We have an auto gain feature on and off. You want to have it just automatically um, adjust the auto gain or you could do it manually with the makeup gain knob then we have the knock feature this is kind of the thrusting feature where it's a low end boost lift and it really tightens and gives a lot of punch and you're going to hear that in a second so we turn that on and off here and then we could pick our frequencies which is stepped okay from 30 hertz 60 hertz 105 125 185 and then up to 4 db how much we want to boost that and tighten that up okay so that is it it's pretty simple they also offer off offer oversampling here. Now the oversampling when it's off is going to use the least amount of CPU and what I'll do is I'll demonstrate as we turn this up two, four, and eight times how much more CPU that this takes and when you um, you engage the oversampling it also changes the way the compressor kind of behaves so you'd have to adjust your compressor settings but what that's supposed to do is give you more of an analog flavor to it. When oversampling is off it's more of a it's more Digital I guess I don't know. I mean I played with it I don't hear much of a difference to be honest, but some people would swear there's a difference But I'll just show you how much more CPU this takes. So here is our drum bus here It's completely in its default state. Let's um, let's play around with it. We'll start uh, We'll keep this oversampling off and we'll start and just see what this does again. No processing on these drums at all 
Okay, so let's engage the transformer. Okay, you can already hear what that does, right? Now let's turn on our knock feature. Go to 60 hertz. Bypassed. We'll turn down some makeup gain. The output a little bit. That's before. Let it loop around again. Listen to the thickness of those floor toms and the kick drum in particular. Right? Just a lot of... Mm. Let's put a little bit of compression on. We have no compression on this at all. So let's go to like a four to one ratio. We'll go to the standard 10 millisecond attack, maybe a fast release. Let's get a little compression happening. It's before. Love it. This might be my new famous, <laughs> my, my new favorite drum bus compressor. I was always using the Slate Digital FD, FG Gray up to this. This thing is awesome. Um, and again, drums are completely unprocessed. No EQ, no compression, no anything. So this will even have a more of effect with, with more processed tracks. You could even dial it in and really tighten things up. I'm exaggerating a little bit so you can hear what the plugin does. But this kind of gives you the best of both worlds of the SSL and kind of the API thing kind of cross pollinated which is really really great i mean it just sounds really thickens up the drums big time and we can push to transform tra just take out the transformers from that sounds great That's without the knock feature. Now I wanna show you the oversampling here just so we could take a look at it so you can see the performance monitor. So in and of itself, this one plugin, cause it's on um, the master bus, but it's, uh, we'll turn it off here on the master bus. It only, it runs at 7%, okay? On my CPU meter. But watch what happens if I turn on oversampling two times goes to 10, 11%, which is not too bad, but when you go to four times, 20%, and then if you go to eight times, almost 40%, 36, 37%, okay? So the more oversampling you use, the more CPU it's gonna take. Now, if you're only using this, let's say on a master bus, on a final mix, or on a drum bus, which is where these two, th where this would be most commonly used. You could put a couple of these and it's not that big of a deal if you're just gonna use one, but depends on your CPU and your computer. So just keep that in mind. And, and remember, look what happens to the compression, the gain reduction when we, when we turn on the oversampling. So let me start with it off and don't touch anything, but watch what happens when I turn on oversampling. Let it loop around again. So you seem to get less compression, and I'm not sure why that is. It's doing something with the algorithms under the hood um, with the oversampling, but the, the oversampling, the whole thing is it's supposed to give it much more detailed modeling. That's why it uses much more CPU, and therefore is gonna sound more analog authentic, I guess is, the, is maybe the term than if you had it with the oversampling off. But again, just keep in mind the CPU. So, 
All you really have to do is change the threshold a little. From that to that, okay? And you can see how much more compression we have with oversampling off. Okay, so there you go. That's the oversampling piece. So that's on the drum bus. Um, if we wanted to put it on bass, on because again, low end things is where I think this thing really shines. Also, although I guess you could put it on anything. Um, let's just listen to it on a bass bus by itself. Turn it on here. Okay, if we have the trans X, it's without it. with it. Turn it up a little so you can hear it better. Okay, the knock feature is at 105 hertz. So turning the knock or the thrust feature on and off is also changing the way the compressor behaves, okay? So you gotta keep that in mind. So the way I would probably use this is I would set the transformer, whether I was gonna use saturation or not, which why wouldn't you? And then I would either decide or set the knock setup and then I would dial in my compressor from there. So we're doing a four to one ratio here. It's before. the way the release works with this it's you can even it's a little too fast for bass you can even slow up this release a lot if you wanted it to really hold it and that's before sounds great Okay, so that's on bass. So now if I were to shut those two off and just put this on the master bus, and we have all the instrumentation kind of going on here, and let's just turn it on the master bus. Let's start at our default setting here. They have some presets I was messing with before, and let's dial this in just on, this is drums, bass, acoustic guitar, keyboards. <laughs>
can really hear what it does to the snare. I'm using four times over sampling on this. Just listen to the snare drum itself. It's kind of pokey um, without the compressor and with the compressor, it really grabs it in pretty nicely. Here it comes without it or with it, without it. Yeah, it's really got that SSL sound. It really does. It's got that nice clue. This is great. This is a great compressor. I really like this. I just love the fact that they took the API, really the famous API feature with the SSL and kind of crossed it together. And it really works well. Again, you can experiment on other instrumentation, but I, I can absolutely see myself using this on my drum bus um, quite a bit. Um, drum bus, this is, this is a great, great thing to really thicken up and give it some punch. And again, on the master bus, I think it works well too, and maybe in a little bit more of a subtle way. And again, once all the tracks are processed with EQ and compression and not just raw audio, like we're dealing with here, I think you could dial it in a little bit more. So I think this is a winner from Tone Empire. I love the Loch Ness. I love this. The Opto Red, I was kind of eh about, I did a video of that too. So um, thank you to Tone Empire for at least sending me this plugin and then giving me a couple of licenses that I can give away as part of our mixing contest. And if you want to know what that's all about, check out MixingMadeEasy.net. Links will be in the description box below. Every month we give a, have a mixing contest and someone gets an opportunity to win some plugins. And this will be one of the plugins that someone gets an opportunity to win. So thanks so much for joining me and taking a look at the Tone Empire Model 5000. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Do you use Tone Empire plugins? Um, um, and if you don't, uh, what is your favorite drum bus compressor, which is probably where I would use this the most. Um, and go out and check it out, demo it. See if you like the plugin. I think you'll really dig it. Um, and again, I want to give you guys um, one more uh, thing here before we leave. As I said uh, at the beginning of the video, if this is your first time here, make sure you go out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and get your free mixing course worth 50 bucks. It's right on the homepage. Can't miss it. And once you've taken the mixing course, if you want to check out some of my other paid training courses, and I have tons of them, I want to give you a discount coupon code at checkout. Just use the coupon code YouTube25. That'll take 25% off any of the training courses on my website. It's my gift to you just for visiting homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And until the next video, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and mixingmadeeasy.net, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.